and welcome to day 26 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day number 44 in the Eastern Pacific and that's where we have the uh, biggest system at the moment, uh, Hurricane Cosme, which is currently an 80 mile per hour Hurricane Category 1 strength at the moment and is likely to uh, start to weaken very soon as it moves out over colder waters. Uh, we also have two new invests that formed today, 97W and 98W, both in the Western Pacific or out in the open seas, uh, 98W not too far from the international dateline, 97W near the micro Indonesian islands um, and of course we have Cosme there on the satellite imagery the uh, big system near the Mexican coastline though it isn't likely to affect Mexico too badly um, and it's of course it's moving away from Mexico so it'll be going out to sea so any effects that Mexico is experiencing at the moment mainly in the terms sort of um, rough seas and tides um, will be uh, fading away over the next few days the Atlantic Ocean remains very quiet you can see here not much going on at all in, the, in at least in the tropics um, hardly anything to speak of in terms of things that we could look for for possible development over the next few days. The Indian Ocean, fairly similar as well. There's a little flare up there around the equator, but um, that's in the, on the southern side. So that's not likely to um, amount to anything at all in the Indian Ocean. And in the Bay of Bengal region, things are quietened down, at least for the moment, in terms of tropical weather. So not much is going on there at the moment in terms of anything developing at all. Uh, the sea surface temperatures then, the latest sea surface temperatures today, uh, around 28 degrees in the eastern Pacific, 30 degrees off the coast of Mexico. But though, and that's not where Cosme is anymore. That's moved off to the north uh, northwest. Um, and uh, off the Louisiana coast as well, around 30 degree waters here, around the Philippines as well, that's another hot spot, 30 degrees around the northern um, and southern parts of the Philippines at the moment. So here's Hurricane Cosme, currently winds of 80 miles per hour as of the 9pm update, uh, a pressure of 985 millibars position as of 12am, 17.7 degrees north, 111.8 uh, degrees west. Um, and that's um, likely to move towards the west-northwest and start to weaken over the next two to three days to a tropical storm and then eventually as um, an extra tropical or post-tropical storm at tropical depression strength if that makes sense um, and that's expected to move towards the west perhaps a little bit of a southward element towards the end of its um, life of course um, it's a category one at the moment 80 mile per hour winds and it's likely to maintain its uh, category one intensity at least for another 12 hours 93 percent chance of that happening you see there on that graphic 51 percent chance after 24 hours uh, just a 24 percent chance after 36 hours and seven percent chance after 48 hours two days from now so let's take a look at the latest satellite imagery then this is the floater imagery of the past few hours of hurricane cosme um, the infrared imagery first of all and then the um, other imagery including the visible layer at the end enhanced visible imagery um, and you can see that the storms been moving in a general west northwest direction making its closest approach to socorro island uh, the sparsely populated island off mexico and you can see perhaps a little bit of an eye um, trying to poke out there at the very end um, though that seemed to have disappeared towards the end of that, end of that loop there um, and it's likely to of course weaken over the next few days now maybe a little bit more intensification is likely but um from there on in it'll be weakening. Invest 97W is the most interesting of the two invests and that's not saying much because you can see here um, only a little bit of a flare up, not much more than that uh, but it is an invest nonetheless and it'll be interesting to see what happens with that one if anything. So let's take a look at the model ones then. The CMC model has quite an interesting scenario panning out. After Cosme there's another storm forming in the eastern Pacific and one storm forming in the Atlantic possibly reaching hurricane strength as it moves into the northeast and Gulf of Mexico. However no other models are picking up on that one at all so uh, no need to be concerned about that one yet. The ECMWF predicts another storm forming in the eastern Pacific. You can see there, not as strong as Cosme, perhaps um, um, a weak to moderate tropical storm strength, I'd say. They're looking at that as it moves through the um, eastern Pacific. The GFS model has another system forming. You can see it there moving towards a northwesterly direction, perhaps a little bit further north than Cosme before turning towards the west, perhaps as a uh, strong tropical storm maximum intensity there. Uh, the NavGem model, you can see, um, has that second system moving close to the Mexican coastline, perhaps even hugging the coastline as it moves towards the northwest, which may cause a little bit of concern in Mexico, though that's a little, a little way off yet in terms of um, time period. So there's certainly no need for concern at this stage because the storm isn't even uh, forming yet. The GFDL model doesn't predict much to form after Cosme, though um, it's predict a little bit of a disturbance. The HWRF has it a little bit more clearly. You can see a bit of a system forming, perhaps reaching minimal tropical storm strength there at the end in that last uh, frame. 
So let's take a look at the overall predictor season scores then for June the 26th. Obviously there will be a bit of change considering that Cosme is strengthened to the Hurricane in the last day. Ken remains in first with 103, Typhoon Belper in second with 94 and Hurricane Melissa 20 in third with 92, Theo in fourth with 92 also but Hurricane Melissa 20 gets through to third by um, earliest prediction. Uh, and William overtakes Josh into ninth place, those are the only moving um, positions at the moment. You can submit your own storm totals to the website for setting.com for slash interactive. Just search, just uh, look at the uh, 2013 predictor season button and submit your totals and it should be on the leaderboard in due course. So what happened on this day then, June 26, 1968, Hurricane Brenda turned Pearls Tropical in the Atlantic. In 1974, Tropical Depression 1 dissipated in the Gulf of Mexico. In 1976, Pictured Tropical Storm Bonnie formed in the Eastern Pacific. And in 1978, also Pictured Tropical Storm Daniel forming in the Eastern Pacific on this day. On June the 26, 1978 there, um, you can see Daniel forming. And also we have 1980, Hurricane Celia peaking as a Category 1 storm, that's also pictured there. In 1984, Hurricane Christina dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. In 1985, uh, Tropical Storm Dolores formed in the Eastern Pacific, that one's pictured as well there, um, becoming a Category 3 hurricane eventually. And in 1990, Tropical Storm Elida formed in the Eastern Pacific as well. A lot of action going on in the Eastern Pacific around this time of year, that's why the uh, on this day is quite dominated by them. In 1992, Tropical Depression 1 made landfall near Tampa. In 2002, Tropical Storm Ramerson formed in the Western Pacific. In 2007, Tropical Storm Yemyen rather, dissipated over Pakistan. In 2009, Tropical Storm Nanka dissipated over China. And in 2010, two years ago, Tropical Storm Alex formed in the Caribbean. Three years ago, rather. I'm still in 2012 here. It's 2013. Um, you can track any storm that forms at the Force 13 website, force13.com forward slash stormtracking.html. That will take you straight to the storm tracking page and um, that will show you a little bit of an overview with tables at the top and bottom showing which storms are active and the warnings that are currently in effect. There won't be any at the moment around the world um, but we do have Cosme out there, Category 1 Hurricane and um, you can go deeper into the um, site where you can see the tracking maps basin by basin for any storms that are currently active and of course any information and warning information as that becomes relevant but obviously um, since Cosme is not threatening land at least not yet and isn't likely to um, there are no warnings currently issued on that storm at the moment but there may be some for future storms of course and don't forget you can um, follow Force 13 on any of the um, social pages that we uh, use at the moment YouTube, Facebook and Twitter one all of those at the moment just search Force 13 on any of those and you should find us fairly easily enough and don't forget to show your support by um, liking, favouriting, commenting, following, uh, subscribing and anything else that you can think of um, on the Force 13 pages and of course if you have a comment or question um, for the uh, YouTube video just uh, type it in, submit and uh, I'll get back to you if it's relevant to uh, storms and such and the bulletins um, and don't forget the next bulletin will be coming up around midnight UTC on Thursday the 27th of June that's um, in around 24 hours time and uh, there will probably be an update in between on Cosme at around um, maybe uh, 12pm UTC or perhaps 3pm UTC during the day on the 26th of June